Hi, I'm Larry Johnson. I am a professor at Texas A&M University, and today we want to talk about the urinary flow through the renal pelvis, uh, ureters, urinary bladder, urethra of the penis, uh, as it follows, and then uh, followed with summaries and questions. So, uh, you have these papillary ducts opening up, uh, transitional epithelium, transitional epithelium will be in here and here. This will be the uh, minor calyx, and then it goes with the uh, major calyx, then it goes through the pelvis, and then it's out through the ureter. And here we see a ureter. Ureter has transitional epithelium, it has a lamina propria, and it has a muscle coat. And it's got the intercircular or outer longitudinal muscle, and it has an advent tissue uh, attachment as well. So this is a ureter. Uh, then we have the Urinary bladder, transitional epithelium of muscle again. We can see one here. Similar type thing, lamina propria, uh, transitional epithelium on the lumen, muscle coat, smooth muscle, of course, and advent tissue. Now, what happens is that the transitional epithelium that we see here uh, has to transform itself whether the urinary bladder is full or empty. If, it's, if the bladder is full, then they're stretched out. But if uh, the bladder is empty, then they fold back on themselves. There's a rigid part. Proteins uh, get together and they make the membrane rigid, like we see here. A rigid part. And that makes, when it folds up, it makes little flattened vesicles. You can see these flattened vesicles here. These flattened vesicles are the same thing. So these this has, is continuous with the lumen. The cell itself can't stretch. Which, what it does is the plasma membrane folds up and then it unfolds and that facilitated by these rigid portions uh, of the plasma membrane that makes these little flattened vesicles. Uh, and then if we follow the urinary tract out, you have the uh, urethra uh, in through there uh, in, the, in the case of the penis. Here we see the urethra could be transitional epithelium uh, on there uh, as well. So uh, again, in the proximal tubule, you re restore the salt and the water, 85% of it. Uh, protein, uh, that's in the proximal tubule. Um, in the, uh, the loop of Henle is where you set up a concentration gradient that you can then uh, benefit with aldosterone and ADH uh, to concentrate the urine to remove 99% uh, of the 180 liters uh, of fluid uh, that was uh, filtrated uh, out of the glomerulus in the beginning. So in terms of function of the urinary system, maintain homeostasis, gets rid of waste, but it also maintains the extracellular fluid balance and composition, pH and volume. It also produces erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is produced by the uh, interstitial cells uh, in the kidney, uh, and then renin is produced by those um, modified smooth muscle cells in the afferent and efferent arterioles, and that's responsible for uh, aldosterone release. So we have a couple of questions. Uh, which of the following process structures combination of urinary tract match? Uh, filtration, renal corpuscle? Yes. A reabsorption protein, proximal tubule? Yes. A reabsorption sugar, distal tubule? No. It's already done in the proximal tubule. So the answer D. Uh, renal corpuscles facilitate interaction between blood and urinary for tubules? Yes. Contain parietal cells that filtrate, filter blood? No. Uh, the parietal cells contain the filtrate. It doesn't touch the blood. Uh, contain mesangular cells that has uh, renin granules? No, the renin granules are located uh, in the uh, uh, in the smooth muscle cells of the afferent arterial. A's answer. Which characteristics facilitate maximum filtration of glomerulus? Large filter? Yes. Thin filter? Yes. High blood pressure created by difference in the caliber of the afferent? Yes. Uh, the answer is E, A, B, and C. We want to thank the original source of various images, drawings, and figures that we might have used during this presentation. Thank you.
This is the end of the urinary system where we looked at urinary flow through the renal pelvis, ureters, urinary bladder, uh, urethra of the penis, followed by the summary and questions. Thank you.